should you, would you, do you recommend recruiting entrepreneurs? Um, it depends on the role. Again, every personality. Give me one role where you want to look for entrepreneurs for it. They, uh, they're product, only going to work for you product, because their venture is not working, and they want to save up some money and go oh, back to their that's venture. An assumption. They will never be working for you for oh, more than a few months at a time. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think entrepreneurial personality types can do very well in big organizations. So let's define well. that then. Let's okay. not stay at the shallow part. What's entrepreneurial personality versus? I'm talking about an entrepreneur stubbornness that you look at the resume, like our friend who's sitting over here. He's the managing director of a company and a mm-hmm. founder. Yeah, which is his little startup. Mm-hmm. And to to his fairness, he's not really seeking a, a full time employment, and neither he's lying about it, which is great and mm-hmm. and very very honourable. But this guy, that's his dream. He want to build a, a, a company thing, mm-hmm. and he doesn't have money at the moment. He want a contract. He want to work. He want to get some money, and he want to go back to it. So great. So where? How can we create a win win where we can use that talent and that energy, but in a way where... Give him a project. Project Project-based, you mean? Well, give him a project. So it's the arrangement. It's... 100%. So so give him a result Mm. rather than a job. I want this. Go and get me this. I want, want, you know, I want a widget. Build the damn thing and get paid for it. I want a widget. I I want want a team set up. I want a sales team set up. Okay. I want, um, you know... um, Short-term project based. It doesn't even have to be short-term. It doesn't have to be short-term. It can be a long-term. You can say, "I want, I want you to, you know, build the next Boeing." But they might quit halfway through. So, so what? You make the remuneration, make sure they didn't get bonuses or no, something until it's finished. Or so, uh, but who cares but that's if they the quit concern. halfway through? Well, maybe you you don't think it's a concern. You don't share my concern. But at least my concern is they won't. They will leave you. They will leave you. The loyalty isn't there. The ownership isn't there. They're really not with you. Well, that's on you then. Sorry, I'm going to be controversial on this, and, uh, and I'll come to this in, and I'll, I'll, just, I'll tell you why. Even somebody that's not entrepreneurial, mm. they will leave you. Of course, 100%. everybody would leave. Everyone would leave. But, uh, but, but what are you different. doing to stop them from leaving? No, no, no. Of course, look, uh, uh, that, that's a brilliant point. But of course, I know that. Come on, yeah, okay, but that, okay. because that's okay. the case across any employee. Okay. So, 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 yeah, okay. no, but, no, but this, no, these days people would leave you the next day. But this, even. But this employee, okay, yeah. you're worried about the fact that as soon as they get enough money, they're going to go and do their own thing. Because yes? that's why they joined you, literally, because uh-huh. they ran out of cash. Yep, exactly. No other reason. So, why did the non-entrepreneurial person join you? Oh, oh, that's a highly intelligent point you're making. Hold on. It's the same shit, isn't it? So whether they so, so either either they, they they come to to earn enough money to go into another company, or to go and do their own thing if they want to, they might not be entrepreneurial, but they might want to go and do their own thing, or to go into another company, mate. We, we we've got a generation of people coming through right now that will that will have an average tenure in an organisation yeah. of maximum one to two years. Okay, so what you're saying in a sense, everybody is an entrepreneur. It's just a matter of which level yeah, of it. but if you treat and these challenge, people yep. so amazingly yep. and make them feel invigorated and mm. give them career plans, mm. reverse engineer their careers... They will and make drop the so idea hard, of building their own company. Well, think about it. Why would you leave if you're happy? Well, if you're constantly learning and you're constantly getting stuff, you're constantly getting this, they might still leave because they've got this amazing idea and they want to make mm. the next book mm. of faces. Mm. You know what I mean? But the reality is they might actually stay because they want to learn more and get involved Burnt, in it. Treat um, your people right. I'm super impressed with you. I think you've created a mind shift in my head. Gone. I, I think we, we overall need to have a monumental mind shift to, uh, towards what is this? I'll tell you what it is. When I am interviewing somebody, stop thinking about what is this person going to give to me and how much can I get out of this person and sit there and go, what can we give to each other the entire way through this? We have got to stop thinking about the fact that when I am hiring somebody, that I'm giving them a job. We always talk about giving them a job. We're giving them this. No, you're not. You're paying somebody for them to help you. To do a job, it's a trade. It's a, it's, it needs it's, to be a it's, fair it's, trade. It's, 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 yep. a, it's a two-way street. So, 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 if they choose to leave, great, go out. I wish you all the best. A hundred percent. You have, you know, I, I get it. You wanted to do that. Your, our, 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 our stars were not aligned. There is no issue with that. But I am going to do everything I can for my top performers to make sure that they feel engaged and they want to stay. hundred percent. Mm. So, learn from that and make sure it doesn't happen. 
with the next person that's still in and the, other, the rest of the company. 100%. Uh, that, that's, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Bernd, I'm, I'm really, really, um, f- really awesome point. I feel mm. I've learned a lot from this, this whole entrepreneur thing. I totally agree with that. Mm. And if anything, if you're upfront about it, if you feel this is the, the case with that person, just be upfront about it. Have a conversation. And Yeah, and you might end up, uh, you, you, know, you know what? If, if, yeah. you're, if you're smart, mm. when they go out and do their, their own thing, you chuck a couple of percentage into there as well. <laughs> if, you, if you think this person's so good and they're going to be so successful, mm. you've just had a door into bloody making sure that you're on the on the forefront of being able to invest in that person. Yeah. And now that's an entrepreneurial thought process. <laughs> um, very interesting. I actually say to my uh, people, let's say if you work for me for three years, mm-hmm. if you ever want to go and start your own venture, I will speak with my, my investors if they want mm. to invest in your company. But three years plus, this is what I mean. You know, before three years, it's a huge investment with engineers, man. Mm-hmm. It takes them so long it's to start to become It's a huge investment with any really staff. Efficient. You need to understand it's a huge investment in any staff these days. And hiring the wrong people can make a big difference, okay? And it can, can, can cause a lot of problems, 100%. But I would almost sit there and say, don't put a three-year time gap on it. I, would, I, I, I personally would not do that because what you're doing them is you're kind of making it... If, if I'm on the other yeah. side of that, I'm sitting there going, what, so I've got to be locked in for three years? What if I hate my job? You know, what if, what if I have the most perfect idea six months into working with you and I've had this idea, it's at the forefront right now. If I don't get onto this idea straight away, mm. you know what I mean? But, oh, no, I'm going to piss off Anwar. Mm. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't want to do that. I don't want mm. to burn my bridges. Mm. You know what I mean? Right. I don't want to do this. You're right. Puts that unnecessary I, pressure make on it the open, thing. Make it open to them. Make it so they can come to you and go in six months' time and sit there and go, Man, I've had this idea. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Yeah. You know what I mean? Come and, you know, I, one of the, uh, this amazing person that worked for me at IBM, I'm not going to go into names, but this amazing person that worked for me at IBM got offered a job elsewhere. And one of the first things they did um, is come and talk to me about it and sit there and say, mm-hmm. you know, I've been offered this. What do you think? Mm-hmm. And we had this amazing conversation about whether it was right for them or not right okay. for them. The last risk in that, mm-hmm. just and we move on to a new topic, with a, how about if they were at the stage with their venture where they literally leave at five and they have to leave at five because they want to go back to to their venture and work on it for the rest of the night and they are coming tired, literally getting a half an employee out of them. Uh-huh. It's they come exhausted and you can see in the morning they come in as if they crawled out of a gutter. Sure. And they leave at five. They can't stay back and be part of the team properly because they sure. they literally have these two commitments. Uh-huh. And there's a transfer of IP and stuff if they are in the same, yeah. well, say space, not really in the same space necessarily, but it's still software development, etc. Sure. They're learning things from you and transferring it there whilst sure. they're not giving it. It can be an issue, no? How do you deal with that? I mean, it's called management. You know, how do you deal with somebody if they if they've just had a newborn child? They've got the same stuff. You know, what I mean, <laughs> they're having to leave at certain times. Out, they're up all night. They're doing all this type of stuff. It's about. Being able no, to be that's something we want to help with. That that's perfectly yeah, fine. Uh, wonderful. Because they are, it's the reverse. This you, you you help people with that because they are committed to you because they are a good employee. They have a sense of ownership in the company and commitment and stuff. And that's when, of course, their problem is your problem. They are like sure. your brother, like a family. That's how I treat people. Mm-hmm. But when you have someone who's not really putting in all the hours and coming in literally half a strength of okay, human if, if being they're not, if they're because they're doing they work their job, on something else. If they're not doing their job, then you need to have a conversation with them and you manage yeah. them. True. So that comes it's, it's, another... It's, it's, it's got nothing to do with what the yeah, reason behind yeah. it is. That's true. True. Many reasons for that. Yeah. 100%. I don't care if you've got seven other jobs. If you're coming in there and doing a kick-ass job for me got every it. single day, got you can go and do your seven other got jobs it. as far got as it. I'm concerned. So that can be managed we've as got, well. We've, we've got to stop uh, again... This, this this mindset that we have, which is which is going to be destroyed by the gig economy and everything very, very shortly anyway, is that because we hire somebody that we own that person and we own everything that's in their brain. You know what I mean? They are coming to do a job for you that you've asked them to do. You are, you are, you are paying for their time to, to use their brain and do what they're doing. Give them things to do, yeah. give them to, to drive, yeah. rather than actually thinking that you own that person. Absolutely. Oh, you know, if somebody works for me and they want to go and you know um, and work for seven other roles, go and do it, hundred percent. But as long as you're bringing your A game to work and you're giving mm. us everything, you are, if you're not, then I'm going to sit you down and sit there and go, look, I don't know what's going on outside of work, whether it's your other job, whether it's your child, whether it's this, whether it's that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And 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 all those things, you might want to support them. You might want to sit there and go, okay, you know what? 
I get you're not at the top of your game. Just give me this, this, and this. Mm. I know you're going through some really working stuff mm. on this other project at the moment. Yeah. Watch how much their engagement increases and how much more productivity you get out of them because you treat them like a human being and treating them right. Okay.